This is the gastric bypass. Uh, we, do, we perform the bypass through six small incisions. It's, surgery takes a little bit longer than the sleeve, uh, generally two to three hours. The, the pre-op course and the actual surgery itself as far as time and the post-op say is very similar between the sleeve and the bypass, and so is the post-op vitamin regimen. So they're pretty equivalent with respect to that. The anatomy of, of the uh, bypass is such that we divide the stomach into a small upper pouch and then a remnant. And this limb here, this limb of small bowel, is called the biliopancreatic limb because your bile duct empties into it. And also your pancreas, which is not pictured on this diagram, sits in here and it empties into this limb as well. So this limb carries the digestive enzymes, which help break down your food downstream. This limb of small bowel is called the rule limb. This used to be attached down here. Generally, we went 50 centimeters, we divided it, and then we pulled this piece up here. This is called the rule limb. It carries food. Uh, downstream. It's around 150 centimeters and they meet at this point the digestive enzymes and the food mix and then most of the absorption takes place here. So the bypass as opposed to the sleeve, this, this pouch holds about a half ounce to an ounce. The sleeve will hold about two to three ounces, still not very much. So the bypass will limit how much you eat and also there's some malabsorption so you get more weight loss, approximately 70 to 80 percent weight loss at one year. The recovery with the bypass is the same as the sleeve, generally back to work in two to four weeks and uh, liquid diet for two weeks and then slowly advancing. Mm -hmm.